Who are you? I'm no one. And it's even worth mentioning mentioning that it did actually win an award. I was published to do one thing. I will finish what you've started. Uh, Lyra and myself met with uh, the head of departments earlier in the year and he had some insights into where Macquarie particularly was heading. There's a lot of internal and external stakeholders with an opportunity of this size. Um, initially Debbie, myself, Lyra and Gerdish were involved in the process um, due to questions around content, particularly Lyra and Gerdish were the main people involved. We didn't win it in 2014, so it's a year in the making. I have everything to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. Uh, Alison, in fact, went over to the UK, so we had a sort of interesting story where we produced a video for her, which was something different. It was a bit uh, of a challenging task. We had to involve a lot of people and to get that across the line. There are stories about what happened. This was an opportunity in which Edge came to the fore. I mean, uh, the initial meetings with the two conveners, Nikki Balnave and Alison Barnes, were um, last year, and they involved a lot of uh, simply grading their needs. So how you teach the course, why do you teach it that way? Giving and get commitment um, in terms of the G for Edge was the hardest part. We certainly engaged um, a bit of uh, give and take in the sense that we offered a lot um, in terms of winning this business and we had to get that commitment. It's true, all of it. Um, there's an enormous amount of work involved on Lyra's part in matching the unit outline um, and the assessments to Kaniki's resources. Um, as well as providing the additional content support where we had potential gaps. Uh, marketing were also heavily involved in producing a proposal, um, that being Dwayne and Andrea. So there was a lot of hands on deck to give that sort of um, adoption all the, the effort we could give it. The objections, the pain points, the collaboration, they're real. Overcoming objections was a particularly uh, difficult um, phase actually, so there was a lot of obstacles that came up. Uh, one particular concern was the changing of the notes. Now, the academics were reticent to change their notes um, as they developed a particular set of, of um, writing and information and delivery and they didn't want to change these too much in the changing of text. In, in this instance, we, we had to focus on particularly how our text met their needs at a raw content level and looking at the, the structure of the text, the PLOC structure of the text was particularly helpful in saying, well, we've got point for point, but our approach is far more critical in the sense that that was one of their key learning objectives was critical thinking. And that was one of their focuses. And Kaniki delivers that in spades. So we need to take that approach in these kinds of units. Whereas when we go to the digital framework, we say that we've got these amazing digital resources. Uh, but, you know, we're underpinned by fantastic content and that's the main sort of draw in this opportunity. So my thoughts on Kaniki is that it's a great text and deserves this kind of success, but we won overall on the quality of our material in terms of the actual raw content of the text. However, we've, we've also gone above and beyond in terms of our level of support. So this involved a lot of tenacity, it involved a lot of uh, robust communication and a lot of teamwork. So that's how basically we won. The force is calling to you. Just let it in.